Hey everyone, River here. Today I'm going to go over another trend review. It'll be a Rapido HO scale baggage dorm Southern Pacific police car. So thank you for everyone joining and I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is a Southern Pacific Rapido HO scale baggage dorm car modeled after the SP mobile police car that SP used uh, back in the 80s. Uh, there was a significant crime issue with people breaking into vehicle trains, so auto rack trains. And what they would do is they would get on cars such as this, where the vehicles are exposed, there's no protection and closing like we have uh, today, modern times. And they would steal car parts when the train was in the siding. This was a common issue between Los Angeles and San Antonio, Texas. So what SP decided to do is put a modified passenger car uh, is like a mobile police station and there'd be uh, two usually two special agents on board um, sometimes consisting of a canine officer and this was this to curb the problem with vehicle parts theft on these uh, trains at the time today it's really no longer an issue or as bad as an issue because we have cars like this today, they're fully enclosed, locking doors. So it just makes it harder to gain access to these um, auto rack cars to steal parts. So this is Rapido's model. Uh, it's a very nice model. There are some issues that I came across. One is there is a slight blemish. Let's see if I can focus in here on the roof due to, uh, I don't know if it was just poor packing or some, some issue with the packaging. It's really not noticeable unless the light hit it, hits it um, at a certain spot, but there is a blemish right here where the fluting is. Other than that, no, no uh, broken parts. It does have lighting, so it comes with the standard Rapido magnetic wand that you go over the roof. With DCC, like I use, the interior lighting automatically comes on. So the wand is just to shut off the lights if you want to. But other than that, the lighting will um, turn on automatically with track power. Issues I mentioned. When I was setting it on the track a couple days ago, I had an issue with the train, well, the trucks, constantly derailing. Uh, I mean, I'd put it on the track and it would just instantly derail. In fact, I had issues just putting it on the track because the wheels just kept coming off. After doing some further investigation, I noticed on this truck, which is opposite of the baggage door, there is some kind of, I don't know if it's a power shutoff, uh, for electric power with a little red button. I'll zoom in closer here so you can get a better look at it. And what was happening is there was a conduit, which is on this side still. And when the truck would turn, this hanger on the truck would hit that conduit, preventing the truck to swivel. So it would technically just derail on straight track. Like it, it was just a very, very, like a small, small curve and it would just instantly derail. This is the side I had issues with. Um, actually the conduit just popped off. You can, uh, if you look close, there is a, uh, a little hole where the conduit connects to this cutoff switch. I'm guessing emergency power switch. And that, when that came off, the truck is now able to turn freely. So that might be an issue. You might have to do some slight modification with some of the under, 
body detail parts if you run across that issue so i did check the, the wheel gauge everything is correct under nmra standards so that wasn't an issue but just fyi if you run across this issue just um yeah just make sure that the, the trucks are able to swivel like they should it has excellent underbody detail of course, with most Rapido products, you got airlines, you got conduit, further down, electrical lines, some equipment underneath, looks like a generator. There's a water or storage tank, air, airlines, more switches here over on the side. Going further down to the end of the car, you can see the same amount of detail. Go ahead and prop it up here on its side, and you can get a better look. So starting on this end, it does have operating um, diaphragms on both sides. Now looking at prototypical pictures, it looks like the earlier during the earlier days of this model, which is SP250, um, they left the diaphragms on, but later on, it looks like they took them off. Now, I had a brass coachyard model, and I'm not gonna compare that model because it's basically, it was after I sold it. It's a museum brass quality piece, and I'm not gonna compare it with a plastic, even though this is a very nice model, I'm not gonna compare it with a plastic model. It's just um, it's an unfair comparison, but on that model, it did have one diaphragm removed on one end. So you really have to just kind of look at prototypical pictures because um, it did modify it throughout the years. So one thing I did notice too with the prototypical pictures that I found online and the Cochard model that I had in the past, uh, these were actually round portholes and the vestibule windows, not a big deal. But yeah, you have the, the brake lever, safety gate. You do have a brake chain, which is actually a chain, which is a really nice feature on Rapido's part. Again, it has um, movable diaphragms, which you're probably not gonna use on these cars because um, they're they were actually run in the middle of auto rack trains. So they were never really coupled with other passenger cars. So what they would do is SP would put these in the middle of auto rack trains. And then when the train would stop at a siding, special agents would uh, be able to observe any kind of criminal activity, people trying to gain access on the auto rack cars. Continuing on, way continuing on we got a nice Southern Pacific police badge per prototype Readable under magnification. You got your ACI plate. Lettering is very crisp. There's the SP250. Railroad police. There's the baggage door. There is a tread plating underneath the baggage door. So that's a really nice, nice added touch. And then you got the SP uh, Bad Star, including the SP badge, police badge. Overall, very nice model. We're gonna go on to the other side, basically the same details, just the opposite side. A quick go over this. Got really nice truck details. 
more underframe details. Okay, so lastly, the issue that I ran across immediately that I noticed was the couplers seem to be too low. And I'll go ahead and show you. So this is the coupler height issue that I was explaining earlier. Clearly an issue. Uh, there's no way a coupler should be hanging that low. And this is why I had to cut the trip pins off the couplers because they were just getting hung up on everything on the layout. And that's when I decided to check the height gauge and um, pretty disappointing for the cost of a model. At this quality, you would think um, Rapido kind of dropped the ball on this checking very just basic things like coupler height. Someone's either going to have to put washers in between the bolsters and the trucks, get a uh, higher shank coupler, Katie coupler, to bring up that height, or use shims. I'm not sure how I'm going to fix this issue. When I do, I may make a second video explaining how I do that. Hey everyone, welcome back in the train room. Going to conclude this Rapido review. I decided to put higher shank couplers on the car because I knew it was going to be a, an issue. Even though I wasn't having any problems with it breaking apart, I decided since I had it off the layout that I would just fix it. So I put higher shank couplers, KD couplers on it. Be advised that they are still a tad bit too low so washers between the bolsters and the trucks might be required to bring it up to KD NMRA standard height but for now it seems to be running pretty good with no issues on the layout Rapido I don't know if anyone's watching my video regarding this but Kindly, it would be nice to possibly have replacement couplers, higher shank couplers, offset couplers, provided to customers who have purchased your product to mitigate this issue. Uh, again, I kindly um, suggest that. Overall, I'm happy with your products, and I think it would help in the long run to have happy customers. Thank you everyone for watching and have a happy new year.